If you are fairly new to Adobe Lightroom and you find yourself cropping your photos quite a lot, here are some useful tips that you might not know yet. So first up, we have a tool that I found out about way too late because I think it really contributes a lot to your editing process and that is the lights out mode. So if we go ahead and press L on our keyboard, see Lightroom first of all dims the area around your photo and then if we hit the L key again, it completely blacks out the rest of your screen so so you just have your frame. So you can use the lights out mode not just while cropping, you can use it whenever throughout your editing process and I think it comes in handy a lot of times. But if we are cropping an image, I think that's where the lights out mode is the most useful because let's say you were going to crop this image and you hit your crop tool and you crop, you're always just going to have this area where you see what the crop would be like but you have all the distractions from Lightroom, you also see the rest of the frame. So I personally feel like you kind of have to guess what the frame would look like. So now if we go into the lights out mode and we completely black out the screen, you see that you're only left with the crop that you're going to get. So if you pull the crop around, you're only going to see the part of the image that is actually going to be in the image after cropping. So you can just go ahead and move the frame around, move the edges around and just really see what kind of crop will be good for your image or what kind of crop you would like. And I think that's just one of the most useful tools while cropping. Next up, let's say you shot a really nice landscape photo, but you really want to get it into a 4x5 aspect ratio so it can have more real estate while being posted to Instagram or something like that. If we bring up the crop tool, you will notice that you are locked into the horizontal aspect ratios. Even if we go into the aspect ratios drop down menu and click on 4x5, you will see that this is actually not a 4x5 crop, this is in fact a 5x4 horizontal crop. So how do we change it? There are two really easy ways. The first is you just grab one of the corners and drag it horizontally towards the other corner and at some point the crop will just flip into the vertical mode. The other way, and that's even easier, is to just hit the X key on your keyboard. The X key will always switch the orientation of your crop from a vertical to a landscape orientation and vice versa. Next up we have the angle tool which can help you straighten your images if they might be a little crooked. So if we come into the crop tool and you click this little button right next to where it says angle, you get this little level. And what this lets us do is we can drag it across the screen at a point where there is a line that should be level. So for example if we take this ledge at the bridge here, this should be level. So we just drag it across and make sure the line is perfectly level across the ledges and it will turn your image to where it is straight. Now this works both for horizontal and vertical lines. So if we take this image for example and we grab the angle tool and we drag it perfectly along this post that should be level if installed properly, it will make the image perfectly vertical. Next up we have overlays. So notice when you open up the crop tool you'll have these lines across your image. These are usually by default set to the rule of thirds. But if you hit the O key on your keyboard there is a bunch of different overlays we can cycle through. There's stuff like the golden ratio, tighter grids, center points, crosses and even an overlay that shows you what different aspect ratios would look like on your image. So if you found some overlays that you find useful in your editing process but you don't want to have to cycle through all of them all the time you can go right up to tools crop guide overlay choose overlays to cycle and here you can check or uncheck all the overlays that you want to see while cycling through them with the o key so there you have it these are my most useful tips for cropping images in lightroom and i hope this helps out